today the best cafe in the world. Hmm, yes, that's everything. Oh, hello. What have you got there, Small? Don't tell me you've forgotten. There's going to be moonlight, fresh air, and stories by the fire because we're going camping. We're going camping? I love camping. <laughs> Hang on, Small. Don't you have to be really organised to go camping? I am really organised. I've got everything we could possibly need. I've got marshmallows. I've got a tent. And it can get quite cold at night, so you need a warm, cosy bag to snuggle up in. You mean a sleeping bag. Hmm, I'm sure I've got one here somewhere. Oh, noodles. I don't think I've got a sleeping bag. That's OK. I've got mine. We can both squeeze in together. Oh, it looks a bit of a squash. You'll be fine. I don't snore too loudly. <coughs> snore? Oh, I wish I had my own sleeping bag. <coughs> looks like we'll have to leave the camping till later. We've got a customer. I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. today, Small. Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. Oh, it's a mini beast that used to be green and crawly, but now he's fluttery with wondrous wings. What kind of magic mini beast can do a trick like that? Do you know? It's our old friend Cosmo the Butterfly. How brilliant that he fluttered into our cafe. But what can we cook for him? We need to conjure up something really magical. We certainly do, Small. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, I went to see my friend Cosmo the Caterpillar. Cosmo loved doing magic and wanted to show me some tricks. First, I will make a big bunch of flowers appear, said Cosmo. And he said the magic words, Riggery Giggery, and made something appear. But it wasn't a big bunch of flowers, it was just some stalks. Oh. Oops, said Cosmo. I forgot, I ate the flowers earlier. I'll show you another trick. So Cosmo said the magic words and made a giant lettuce appear. But it had a big hole in the middle. Oops, said Cosmo. I must have eaten that too. So he decided to show me another trick. For my final most magical trick, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said Cosmo. And he closed his eyes and said the magic words Wriggly, giggly But nothing happened I don't think I've eaten enough lettuces to make that trick work I wanted to help So I rounded up as many lettuces as I could find And Cosmo made them all disappear into his tummy Then he felt very tired Oh so he conjured up a chrysalis and snuggled down to sleep. Night, night. The next morning, I looked for Cosmo and... Ta-da! His trick had worked. He had changed into the most magical butterfly I had ever seen. Wriggly, giggly! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Cosmo did an amazing trick. I wish I could turn into a magical butterfly. <laughs> You'd have to eat a lot of lettuce. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yes, Cosmo was very hungry. I wonder what we should cook for him. We need to do some serious thinking. <gasps> oh. I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the big cookery book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. 
Look at that! Caterpillar wrap with lots of lovely lettuce! It sounds perfect! Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Of course! Coming right up! To make the caterpillar wrap, we need spinach, plain flour, baking powder and olive oil. No problem there, Small. We've got all those. Great! And for the filling, we need cheese, red pepper, carrot, cream cheese, olives and lettuce. Oh, noodles! We've run out of lettuce! Then let us get some more! <laughs> I can whiz off on my spoon. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woohoo! She'll see you today. A baby lettuce. Ah, oh, cute tiny lettuce. They've been grown from seeds. That's a big tractor. Oh, I love tractors. There are lots and lots of trays of baby lettuce. They're putting them into a machine that plants them into the ground. There they are. Oh, look at them all standing up in the soil ready to grow. These lettuce have grown big and strong. They've had good soil and lots of water. Mm, I think they're ready to be picked. Hooray! It's time for the lettuce to be harvested. There's a nice one here. It's cut off and put into this machine that takes it away. Oh, where's my lettuce going? It's going on a fun ride! Woohoo! Here the lettuce are checked and put into pairs. They're lined up and go into this machine that puts them into bags. Now they can travel to the shops ready for us to eat. Scrummy! This lettuce is perfect for our recipe. Let's get back to the cafe so we can start cooking. <laughs> I'll see you there. That was Speedy Small. While you were away, I double-checked our kit for the camping trip. I definitely couldn't find your sleeping bag. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can find something else to sleep in. You can still sleep in my sleeping bag, but just to warn you, I do dribble a little when I sleep. <laughs> oh! Did you find the missing ingredient for our caterpillar wraps? I certainly did. Here it is. Lettuce! Brilliant Small. That's everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Bunny pots and hedgehog rolls. Starry breakfast skies. Robot cake and power shake. And sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. I've measured out all the ingredients and got everything ready. Nice work. Do you remember the ingredients for caterpillar wraps? For the wraps we need spinach, 200 grams, Plain flour, 360 grams. Baking powder, a teaspoon. 
and olive oil. One tablespoon. And for the filling we need cheddar cheese. A small bowl, grated. A red pepper. One half whole, the other half finely chopped. A carrot, grated. Cream cheese. One tub. Black olives. Four for decoration. And lettuce. A few leaves. That's everything. Let's get started. First, we need to make the tortillas for our wraps. I've cooked the spinach and it's wilted. Maybe I can sleep under my cloth. Let's pop it in the blender with a tablespoon of olive oil and give it a good blend. Because blenders whirl things very fast, ask your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. Ready? It's very noisy, Jay! Yes, almost as noisy as my snoring. <laughs> Take that off, get the lid off. The mixture is now a puree and it's a lovely green colour. Pop that into a bowl. Then add the flour. And baking powder. And mix with your hands to make a dough. This is the messy bit. That's it, Jen. Work those ingredients. <laughs> Squidge everything together. You might need to add a little bit of water or some extra flour to make the dough nice and soft. It's perfect! Can we roll it out? Not yet, Small. We need to cover it with a clean tea towel and pop it in the fridge for about 15 minutes. The dough should be ready, Jen. It is small. It's nicely chilled. So I'm going to divide it into six equal blobs. First in two. It's a bit sticky. Blob, blob, blob. <laughs> Make three out of this half. Nice and equal. And then four, five and six. Green blobs ready to roll. I'm going to add some flour. It's like a snowstorm down here. I better go get cleaned up. Oh, oh, sorry, small. Let's move these out of the way and we'll work on this one. Roll one blob out into a flat circle. Oh, that reminds me, small. I roll around in my sleep a bit too. Eek! You hear that, Teddy? If we share a sleeping bag, she might squash us. <gasps> there, six tortillas all rolled out. Now we need to pop them in the pan and heat for a couple of minutes. Ask your grown-up helper to do this bit for you, as the hob will be hot, hot, hot. In goes the first one. It just cooks in the pan. There's no need to add any cooking oil. I think this one's ready. In with the second one. I've got my goggles on in case Jen dribbles on me in her sleep. <laughs> Once they're cooled, add a good layer of cream cheese onto the tortillas. Let's start with this one. Spread it all over, making sure you cover it all. Yummy! Creamy, dreamy. <laughs> now it's time to add the vegetables, starting with lettuce. Red pepper. Grated carrot. And a sprinkle of cheese. You can use any vegetables that you like. Now, we need to roll it into a tight tube. There. Oh, it looks just like a sleeping bag. <laughs> I'll finish making the wraps. Can you take these carrot slices and make them into flowers to go with our caterpillar tortilla? <gasps> yep, will do. I love flowers and I love carrots, so flowery carrots is a brilliant idea. 
The wraps are all rolled up, snug as a bug in a rug. So I've cut them into thick chunks. These will make the segments of the caterpillar. Do you remember what caterpillars love to eat? Lettuce! I'll sprinkle some lettuce on the board for the caterpillar to munch on. Now, I'm arranging the wrap to look like a wriggly caterpillar. <laughs> wriggle, wriggle. There. How are the carrot flowers small? Pretty, aren't they? Yes, they are. I've made some too. I've also added some pieces of red pepper to be the caterpillar's feet, a big piece for his head, and some black slices of olive for his eyes. Don't forget my flowers. Thank you, they're brilliant. Hey presto, our dish is finished. Cosmo's going to love it. <laughs> Caterpillar wraps for our friend Cosmo the Butterfly coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use for another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! It's empty! Cosmo was very hungry! Look, Small! There's a note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Jen and Little Cook Small, My caterpillar wrap made my heart flutter. It reminded me of the days when I was a caterpillar. Here's a little gift to help you wrap up warm on your camping trip. Love, Cosmo. <gasps> Look! It's a little sleeping bag. Perfect for you, Small. <gasps> Thanks so much! It looks really cosy. Wow, Jen! It's as snuggly as Cosmo's chrysalis. <laughs> you look a bit like a caterpillar now too. Oh, so do you! <laughs> Riggly giggly! <laughs> this is going to be the perfect camping trip. See, See you soon! soon. Bye! <laughs> Woo! Rig